a lot of people, and you know, I, I don't want to name names, but Solana, uh, are taking good uh, ideas and they're just going, well, what if we just centralized everything? It'll be faster, it'll be more efficient, it'll be cheaper. And yeah, sure, it is, you're right. Uh, but nobody's using it, but for like meme coins and scams. Uh, because if anybody puts anything significant on it, and then all the states begin moving towards it, uh, it's going to be a, a system that has levers that people can simply just take from you. You have to be thinking for the adversarial case, uh, as opposed to the convenient, easy, early case. Another concern um, by the community is that Solana is centralized. What are your thoughts on that? Can you define that in some objectively measurable may way? <laughs> So that's the follow-up question. When people say that, they're unable to say what exactly makes it centralized. So when you actually measure it in any objectively measurable parameter, it's oftentimes better than Ethereum. And in some ways, like maybe at most only half is good. So like number of validators on Solana is like 3,000. Ethereum is about 6,000. Uh, so you can look at the Nakamoto coefficient. I think on Solana is like 23. I think it's uh, 20 on Ethereum. This is like the minimum number of operators that it takes to shut down the network. And it's a liveness failure. It's not like a failure to safety. So the way that uh, the real physical, like I, I have this meme that like economic security is a meme. Like this is what I, I talk about on Twitter all the time. And this is because the security of the network really comes from the full nodes. Any single copy of the ledger Right? Doesn't matter if it's staked or not. Doesn't matter if it's a RPC for a monkeys NFT DAO, or it's the node run by Circle, or it's Binance, or it's just your home computer. Any single copy of the ledger has all the signatures from everyone else in the network, and it can provide a proof of the particular ledger and state transitions that the network came to. So it's enough to validate the state, just any single copy. So that large number of validators on Solana, about 3,000, any one of those that survives an attack, that's enough, like one, any one of them, right? This is what really gives the network security for safety. And liveness is a different property. Bugs happen, network outages happen. That doesn't kill the network, it just stops block production. And even on Bitcoin, when like the Chinese miners shut down, you had a two-hour gap between block production. It's not like Bitcoin was dead, right? It just literally didn't make blocks because of how Bitcoin is configured, because of how Solana configure is configured. If there is congestion that blows up the network, all the nodes basically halt. They stop making blocks. So safety is not touched, but like liveness, you can have impact. So the Komodo coefficient is the minimum number of operators that could halt the network. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the network can restart. You literally can, any single copy can be used to restart it.